Hey guys, it's Tanya. Welcome back to my channel. I make videos about micro locks, specifically micro locks from the perspective of fine low density hair, which is what I have. In this channel, you can find stuff about my journey, tips and tricks and some educational stuff too, as well as some tidbits about my life. I'm also the owner of a shop called Lock So Fine, where you can find things to help you protect your locks, like handmade bonnets and satin scrunchies and my signature headrest covers to help you protect your locks while you drive. And you can also find things to help you rep your locks like stickers and t-shirts and tote bags and things of that sort. So getting right into the video today, this video I recorded because I felt like it's important to show your failures as well as your successes. So this is a video that I'm recording as a result of a rinse I did on my hair that wasn't successful, the repercussions of it, things that maybe I could have done different and to get some feedback from you guys as well in case you decide to try to do something like this to your hair. So, all right guys sit back and relax and enjoy the video i feel like i'm about to walk the like walk of shame or something because oh my gosh i think i messed up my hair stay tuned so you can hear all about what has been going wrong what has been going on since i decided to put a clear rinse on my hair by myself instead of being patient and just waiting for my lactation um i put a clear rinse on my hair like a week ago and I, um, if you haven't seen the video, it'll be like, I can pop it up somewhere on the screen or you can click in the, the description below. It was super simple. I got it from Sally's. It was like seven bucks. I did it on my hair, but one of the steps of it was to like wash my hair completely. And then after that, I had to actually take my hair down and then put the product through my locks and then rinse it without ba banding. Now, I like to think I'm like a rebel, right? So I was like, oh, it'll be fine. And I actually have washed my hair before where I like let it dry almost all the way. And then I took it out because I don't want it to look flat. And I was like, okay, this will be fine. This will be fine. It freaking wasn't fine, okay? First of all, my curl pattern is all messed up. So as you can see, like let's find out a lock right here. And I think it's like the weight of the, the, like, the rinse on my hair because it's like waxy. So guys, as you can see, there's like hardly any curl pattern. It's pretty much just like straight now, okay? So that happened, which really, really sucks. And then also the slippage, the amount of slippage on my hair along the sides is absolutely freaking ridiculous. And I know like it's not a big deal like in some ways because I know it can be fixed, but it's a big deal in other ways because A, my locks are getting tangled. B, because when I go for my retie, it's going to take one million years then it's going to take one million dollars to fix and also like i don't even feel like the results of doing it was even like worth the hassle that i'm having to go to so i want to show you guys a little bit of what i'm talking about and like some examples of my lock so along the side over here is the side that has like the worst ones and i will post that picture so these are my locks over here on the side okay so here's the probably the worst one as you can see here on this lock, pretty much from the base all the way down to right here, it's unraveled now. And, and then it goes down and it looks normal all the way to the end. So like, this is probably the worst one. That's like probably three inches worth of slippage on this lock. It's an example of one of the ones that's messing up. So see here where like the lock is now getting this little like bulb in there like a space right here where it's like shrinking down and then up here some of this is just new growth so i understand that some of that is new growth but at the base of the lock right there it's getting this like build up on there so that's one of the problems that's been happening and to be honest with you i don't even like i'm not gonna blame you know i'm not gonna blame the rinse I'm going to blame like the process of what I did when I did the rinse because what I did was when I washed my hair, of course, I took it down wet. Then I put all that product through it and then I washed it and then I did the rinse. So what I probably could have done to have helped myself, I don't know if it would have fixed it, was possibly like wash it, do the rinse, like unbraid it, do the rinse and then braid it and band it back up and then rinse out the rinse or rinse out the rinse and then braid it and band it back up while it was trying to dry. But I didn't. I like washed it, took it down. Then, um, then I put the product on there and then I like just left it down to dry. Another problem that I'm having because of that is tangling, like because of my hair, like 
my hair's density. I know a lot of people will post and they'll say like, oh yeah, my locks are like sticking together at the root. Well, clearly I don't really have that problem because how far away like each lock is from each other. But ever since I did that, they're tangling at the root. So I've been having to go through and like actually separate them at the base to keep my locks from sticking together. So I don't know, guys, I'm just a little bit disappointed because you know, I thought I would try that out and it didn't really work out. But not just that, I, I'm grateful at the same time because I learned a lesson. If your hair is fine and low density, don't watch these other YouTubers and be like, you know, oh, it's the king. I'm going to braid my hair and I'm not going to band it. No, don't do it. Especially if your hair is a softer texture because like mine, it's susceptible to slippage, like just period. And it's a pain in the butt. I know it is. But it's absolutely worth it to go ahead and even do like a few braids and then band your hair to protect it and keep yourself from having issues with like if you do your own retighten, it's going to take a heck of a long time. And all of those ones that, that have like this much at the top where you have to repair it a lot. Not only that, but like whenever you do that, like for example, the ones that have holes in them, when they get repaired, and you guys know how I feel about this, these are all locks that have gotten repaired. See, and so like once they get repaired, they like they're straight. And so the curl pattern disappears and it's just a, like a hassle. So I just want to come on here and give you guys an update. I want to ramble on just tell you that like I feel like, yes, my hair actually still looks fuller. A lot of people were saying that I do feel like that my hair looks a little bit shinier. I don't feel like it helped with my dandruff problem at all. I do feel like it left some buildup at the base like of the new growth areas, which also I should note that I am, my last retire was February 8th and today is March 8th. So I'm a month out and generally I go four to six weeks. And then yes, there was a lot of slippage. And I know there was a question on the video that I made about whether or not I felt like it was a safe thing to do to go ahead and put the rinse on my hair. So, I mean, let's just say not even thinking about it like a rinse, if you decide to dye your hair or something like that, just wait and let your lactician do it. Maybe what could have happened with this is that she could have washed my hair, done the rinse of my hair, and then like retied it right after that. Because my lactician does like kind of retie my hair while it's still damp. And that would have solved me from having this problem. Or maybe I should have done it immediately after a retie. I don't know. There's so many variables about, variables about what I could have done or didn't do. But if any of you guys actually after that video went and tried it, because you know that rinse comes in like a 50 million colors, then let me know in the comments below, I guess, what you what your experience was. And if you even if you didn't do it, let me know in the comments below what you think I could have done differently to keep myself from having this issue of now having all this slippage, you know, along the base. Uh, last thing I want to mention is that I do feel like my scalp is a little bit itchy um after using that i think just because it settles on the hair you know it's not like a dye it's like more of like a coating on your hair so that happened too and i'm gonna do a 360 so you guys can have an update on my hair so here's the back of my hair so here's the back um and these locks that are back here so i think that turned out okay like a texture shot There's that. Here's this side over here. So there's that. I'm so sad because it seems like this front part, the texture has gotten like straight, but it'll wash out. And then here's this side over here. So that's my update, y'all. Please send me prayers because, oh my gosh, I'm going to be getting my retie for like, if I'm in there for eight hours, I might, I might just cry. I might just cry about it, but I'm still glad I did it and I learned the lesson. Don't forget to comment below if you have any feedback for me. If you tried it and it worked better for you, uh, what what could I do different? And um, if you've ever tried a rinse on your hair. So until next time, mamas, bye. Mm -hmm.